One and two, dream team. It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Bottom, season one, episode one. Another UK comedy that I've seen in the comment section many a times. We're gonna try it out, see how you guys like it. Uh, before we dive in, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Oh yeah! Some people are short tempered, aren't they? Yeah. Well, about four or five thousand of them by the looks of things. Yeah. Oh, but it's wonderful though, Eddie. I mean, look, all the local communities are out there on the streets. Beating the shit out of each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love carnival time. <laughs> look at that policeman over there. Which one? The one jumping up and down, waving his arms. The one that's on fire? Yeah. <laughs> now, well, he's got no one to blame for himself. It was him that started it all by appearing for Carl. Shit! Yeah. Provocative bastard! <laughs> What's the point in having a carnival if you can't get your shopping done? <laughs> oh, 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 Ray. Yeah. Did you see the floats? I thought I'd flushed it. <laughs> Riots sound awful, and I get they, but they having the time of their life watching these riots go down. They are enjoying themselves for sure. Best part of the show so far! Encore! Oh, cool. oh. I was back at my house kebab shop. Yeah? It was back to you through the petrol bomb. Yeah. <laughs> I saw him take out the insurance only yesterday. Yeah. Same every year. Yeah. Well, it'll be drinks on him again tonight. Hold up. Here come the pirate again. Stop them. He's having a word. And money's changing hands. And they're off again. <laughs> <laughs> you must be going for the full rebuild again this year. And just in the nick of time, too. I was getting a bit peckish. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what I love about this country, Richie. Tradition. I mean, oh in the God. olden days, we used to let the Germans do this sort of thing for us. <laughs> I mean, look at that, Emmy. Look at that. Half of London's a light. That's British craftsmanship, that is. Oh, look. There's the primary school postman, Pat Flood. Oh. They made a little bad and everything. Oh, oh. oh, look, look. They're ram raiding the off license. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, bless them. They're too young to know, aren't they? What? Well, you've done it already. Yeah. Well, you have to get up pretty early in the morning to beat Uncle Eddie. <laughs> well, it's as I always say, Eddie. I mean, the carnival is a marvellous business opportunity. Would you like me to toast your marshmallows? <laughs> uh, oh, excuse me. Yes, uh, yes, marvellous, Eddie. Get on with it. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Now, I think you should just wait for the window of curries to blow, and then we'll pop out and do ourselves a bit of shopping. Right. <laughs> 
you are just fine, but the window curries to blow. They won't pop out and do ourselves a bit of shopping. I like this how they just kind of chilling in the window, talk about everything that's going down. Even though you can't see everything that's going on down there, they're explaining everything that's happening. But it's funny. Understand TV with fast text, FST, NICAM, and loads of other bollocks that nobody understands. But I've had the eye on for a couple of months now. God dang! Shopping list, shopping list. I'll go grab hold of my ballpoint. Oh, huh? <laughs> Hello, Richie. No time for crap do blonde tondras. Carrie's window's just blown. They've just thrown a swag through it. <laughs> what? Banzai, baby. Balaclava's on and let's go shopping. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. You dropped it? Yeah, well I was being run over by the riot squad. <laughs> well, two wrongs don't make a right, young man. Just because you're being run over doesn't mean you have to smash a television set. Like I could be watching Sophie Griggs and peeling a banana or washing a cucumber or anything. <laughs> She's married. I know, to the wrong bloke. Still, at least we got the duck. Got the duck? Yeah. Made out of plastic. <laughs> Eddie, what in the name of Greek buggery? <laughs> it floats in the bath. Hello? And why? It's hollow. <laughs> why the duck? It came uh. free with the telly. <laughs> Eddie, everything came free with the telly. We were looting. Why didn't you get a free telly with the telly? Well, then it's sink in the bath! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I got a free police battle. Ooh, interesting. Let's have a look. Yeah, well, I can't quite play my hands on it. Oh! Nasty. Yeah, it's one of those new long ones. No! With the side handle. It's playing merry hell with my liver. Nasty. Anyway, never mind about me. How did you get on? Well, not bad, not bad. Boots was a bit crowded. And uh, W.H. Smith's was jammed and uh, on fire a bit. Yeah. An awful lot of blood in CNAs. Mm. <laughs> anyway. I popped into the post office on my way home, you know, yeah. to take some money out. Yeah. It was a nightmare in there. You should have seen the queue. You should have seen the queue. <laughs> By the time I got to the front, there was practically nothing left. There was no counter, no grill, no nothing. Tell me something new. I mean, Laura Ashley was practically impenetrable. <laughs> <laughs> I have heard that. <laughs> oh, go on, have another hobnob. Oh, you are evil. <laughs> Don't you start on me! <laughs> oh, it's just so good to get your feet up, isn't it? No, I'm not that pervy. <laughs> Did you see the fight going on in the semolina you like? Oh, such a mess! <laughs> what can you do? I don't know. I blame the TV. I blame that channel tunnel. I blame those sprouts we had yesterday. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make a fresh pot of tea. This was me sitting here for three and a half hours. Oh my god! That's disgusting! That's awful, bro! What even is that now? What even is- look at the state of the fridge! Oh, the state of their flag! Oh my- yeah, sheesh! They living in the struggle stroke. Oh man! <laughs> How did you get on, Eddie? Well, I was just coming out of the body shop. And there were an awful lot of bodies in there, I can tell you. And I thought, you know, I've just got time to nip down to the greengrocers and loot a couple of pounds of broccoli florets. <laughs> and you'll never guess what. What? We've been burgled! Well, you may have been, young man, but I have never in my life. As a Christian, I'm so tightly clenched that, oh, oh, burgled! There was 156 cases of Malibu there! 156! That was going to see me through to the weekend! <laughs> call the police! Eddie, you can't call the police at carnival time, they're all on fire! <laughs> oh, 
do try and be a bit more Buddhist about it. Bastards! 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 If it wasn't for the fact that I've got another 36 cases upstairs, I'd be really angry! <laughs> That's it! I'm going to write to my MP. Why? Because I love her. <laughs> She is, she is! She's not, she's not! What? Spectacles! <gasps> oh my god! Ow! Ow! Anyway, fret ye not, me old amigo. Because if you care to take a peek inside my trousers, I think you'll find something down there that'll put a little smile on your face. <laughs> what do you mean? Yes. Sharon Stone. <laughs> Sharon Stone, with a sort of where's Eddie expression on her face, wearing nothing but a honey sandwich. No. A jam sandwich? No. Got it! It's a kebab, isn't it? It's a kebab! It's not a kebab! It's not a kebab! Sharon Stone, painted green, oh. vacuum packed with a copy of the Racing Post sticking oh. out of her bus. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Come this in, is a, di a different kind of comedy. This is a different kind of comedy. Just shut up, you sick, depraved, Eddie Dessard. I've told you before not to tell me your foul, deviant fantasies. Oh god, I won't be able to sleep tonight. I won't be able to see by tomorrow morning. Think Kenneth Clark, Richard. Just think Kenneth Clark. Kenneth Clark. Kenneth Clark. Kenneth Clark. Kenneth Clark. John Selwyn Gamma. <laughs> I've forgotten about that. Hey, Eddie, look at this. Wrong one. Take a look at this. Oh, wow. Ain't no way. How you in your trousers? Well, there's plenty of room in my trousers. Sadly. And where did you get it from? Well, I found it in the back of a BBC van. I mean, it was just lying there, so I thought, I'll take it. I mean, I pay my licence fee. No, you don't. Yeah, but they don't know that. <laughs> Master criminal. Thanks, Eddie. Right, now, this is the plan. Hmm? We are going to make our own movies. Right, right. We're going to get famous, and we're going to get our pick of the birds. Oh. <sighs> right, let's make nine and a half weeks. No, no. Nude birds go upstairs to Eddie's bedroom. <laughs> no, Eddie, 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 come back. Honestly, you're so naive. Aren't you? It's far more wily, my plan. Far more wily than that. Okay, who is the sexiest man on TV? Well, Kill Roy, obviously. Of course, of course. <laughs> Kill Roy. What I'm going to do is I am going to make my very own prime time current affairs discussion program. <laughs> That's right. You heard me right the first time. Pretty crafty, eh? And if that doesn't get me sourced to Singapore and back, then I'm a Dutchman. Hello, Jacob. Hello. <laughs> clock died wind mill. Shit. <laughs> oh my god. Action. Hello and good morning. Should traffic wardens be armed? In the studio. <laughs> Hilarious accident. What about and dog? 
and dog on and skateboard. A dog on and skateboard that accidentally hangs itself and then catches fire. This is good, Eddie. This is good. This is epic. This idea is catching fire. Right. Casting, casting. Get me some dogs. Casting, get me some dogs and uh, get me some jodhpurs and uh, get me an eye patch and a casting couch uh, with a nudie bird on it. Uh, major jugs. I mean, major jugs. But no, scratch. Eddie, I've got it. It has to be a wedding. It has to be a wedding. We've got to move with the market, Eddie. This is the 80s after all. Right. All I need to do is to find a bird, get her to marry me, suddenly have a lot of friends to come to the reception, and then suddenly at the dance afterwards, bam! Somebody accidentally falls over a bit. Or you could accidentally catch a dart in your head. Ooh. You may have something there, Eddie. Yeah, I think it's syphilis. <laughs> I think it's syphilis. Oh my god, bro. These two are absolutely wild. I'll say that. These two are absolutely wild. I mean, everybody loves a dart in the head, don't they? That'll have a granny's wetting their knickers. I mean, toddlers falling off trikes. Pa! This is the real stuff. We're living on the cutting edge of family video accidents. Let's do it! <laughs> oh, just another ordinary day in my kitchen. I hope to goodness gracious me no viciously hilarious accidents happen. Oh, Marjorie? Yes, dear? <laughs> I'm the only one here, aren't I? All right, all right, I'll do it all myself. Ow! Oh, my God! <laughs> now, for Christ's sake, try and catch it in your forehead, darling. You're not indispensable, you know. Oh, go again! Oh, my God! <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> right, here we go. This is the one. This is the BAFTA. Try enjoy it, Eddie. And... Action. <laughs> Just another ordinary day in my kitchen. Except I've lost the sight in one eye. <laughs> to goodness gracious, nothing horribly amusing happens today. <clears throat> oh, Marjorie! <gasps> yes, dear? Accidentally, uh, 
sewing her head to the curtains, when suddenly, <laughs> joke on joke, I realised I'd forgotten to put the tape in the camera. Take a look at this blank cassette. I think you'll agree, hilarity prevails. Please make the no. comment, Richard, Richard. It's brilliant. Oh, no, really? it's awful. The tape, make sure it's black. Oh, no, we haven't got a video machine. Don't be stupid, Richie. I picked up 17 this morning. Another 43 in the attic. Fantastic! Do you know how to wire them up? You betcha, matey. Step to one side. <sighs> Seems ages since the carnival. Yeah. Must be about a week now. <laughs> How's the video coming along? Almost unwrapped. <laughs> Oh, another wire. Oops. A white one. <laughs> hey, Rich! That's it! She's ready to go! Oh, marvellous! At last! <laughs> now, installation instructions. What? <sighs> oh. Number one. Stick deinen Kopf in den Oh my god, it is in German, bro. Jesus! Oh, he rattled his maracas close to me. Hi, Eddie! Oh, hiya, Rich. How was your holiday? Oh, it was marvellous. Glad to be back, though, because the carnival starts tomorrow. How's the video going? Well, your timing's impeccable, because I only have to connect the scarf socket up to the light connector, like so. And... She's ready. Inside a year. Oh, sterling work, Eddie. Come on. Let's fire her up. <laughs> Thanks very much, Mr. Video Repairman. Create a Mally move for cash. That'll do a nice thing. And uh, watch out for the top step. <laughs> Check it's blank. This is it, Eddie. We're gonna be frolicking in vodka flavored clover from here on in. There you go, completely blank. Hey, hang on. What's that? It's a room, I don't recognize that. It's not in our house, is it? Hold up. Who's that coming in? It's the Prime Minister. Stand up, Eddie, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. Eddie, put a doily on the telly or something, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Sorry, sir, carry on. Oh, is my that, God. Is that his bedroom, do you think? Oh, very much so, I believe, yes. This is obviously an uh -oh. informal walkabout the Prime Ministerial Private Apartments. Oh, it's very informal, isn't it? <laughs> Take this shirt off now. <laughs> the Prime Minister's nipples. It's a great honour, sir. <laughs> oh, my it's God. Hot. He's obviously got a very hot todger as well. <laughs> <laughs> Who's she? Uh, that must be his mummy. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. It's, it's obviously Prime Minister's bedtime. Oh, yes. Unusual behaviour, isn't it? Well, maybe she's just chaining him to the bed in case he falls off. <laughs> yes, 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 that must be it. Yes, and look, look, she's very hot too. So look, she's taking her dress off. Oh, <laughs> she's brought him a little present. What is that? It's sort of model of a moon rocket, isn't it? <laughs> oh. Take his temperature. <laughs> yes, that must be it. Yes, yes. He's obviously ill. Yes. Well, that would be why he's so hot. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> I mean, look at the poor little mite. Yes. Groaning and thrashing around the place. Oh. He's obviously got a very high fever. Yes. Uh. And that's why she's sucking the poison out of him. <laughs> Fever out of him. Uh, Saying something, Eddie. 
you what's he saying? Turn the sound up. Oh, no, I think it's mute. Well, you can lip read. What's he saying? Uh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Bro, I'm legit. I'm about to lose it. I'm about to yes, lose it. She's on to <laughs> She's very friendly, isn't she? I think they must be sisters. Yes, that'll be it. No, don't sit there. She can't have seen him. But he'll suffocate. Oh. <laughs> I can't think that that's hygienic. <laughs> There's a slight sexual undercurrent. <laughs> you don't suppose that what we're witnessing here is Prime Ministers perving about in a career-threatening, once-in-a-lifetime blackmailing opportunity for two wily old desperados like us? Time. <laughs> Where's the phone? Stand up! Hello, give me the Prime Minister. Because I want to blackmail him. <laughs> Richard, Richard! Oh shit! <laughs> I just to get my name away. Oh, Eddie, you all have to phone and, and use an assumed name. Right you up. They gonna say yes, Richard, so Richard. Know, I'd like to blackmail the Prime Minister. Uh, uh, Richard, Richard. <laughs> you bloody fool! They'll be onto us now. Oh, don't talk bollocks, Richie. It'll take weeks for them to catch up with us. It's the police. Yes. They say they've got the place surrounded by the SAS. It's a siege, Jenny. We've got to think fast. Well, that's us knackered then, isn't it? Well, should we get in now? Oh, no! Sandwiches! That's it. It's a siege, right? If we handle this right, we could eat like kings. Okay, good thinking, Eddie. Leave this to me. Right. Hello? What kind of sandwiches do you do? <laughs> sandwiches! <laughs> they say they don't do sandwiches. They're a highly trained anti-terrorist organisation. No, tell them they're talking to the wrong bloke. I want three egg, two crab paste, and one avocado and black pudding with white tomato ketchup, and a can of Tizer. Let's stop, Eddie. <laughs> Did you get all that? Yeah. <laughs> what does he say? He says, throw out the cassette now, or he'll kill us immediately. Oh. Well, I'm going to start negotiating downwards. Uh, what about Ritz crackers, twiglets, those little cheesy nibbly things? Nice, nice. OK. <laughs> Leave it to me, Eddie. Hello. We take your point on the sandwiches. Uh, what's your position on canapes? <laughs> oh. oh, damn. I suppose a helicopter's out of the question, then, is it? <laughs> what about a nudie evening? Carol Barnes, the popular news. Look, I want half a curly whirly and a packet of love arse, and that's me final offer. <laughs> Circumstances can change awfully quickly these days. <laughs> well, this is the seventies after all, Eddie. <laughs> oh. Hello, bo -bo -bo, bo -bo -bo -bo. <laughs> It's them again. Oh yes, my hello, gosh. Hollander. Yes, we have a drop hint. Eddie, throw down the video. Right, you are. <sighs> what does he say? He says, ow. <laughs> Go A squad. Go A squad? Go A squad! Oh my god. God dang! Uh, tell me how y'all feel about that show. Uh, that was like a different kind of comedy, but it was funny in its own way. That's all we got. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? 
You can subscribe to Patreon and drop it in the comment section. It's your boy Dino. Out.